Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. I'm the Fig Heel, and today we're going to be unboxing Hastel Toys, Grapplers, and Gimmicks, Mike Drosy and Greg Gerard, aka Duke the Dumpster Drosy and Oscar of Men on a Mission. We're going to get to complete the trio of Mo, Mabel, and now Oscar. Very, very cool. Uh, now, always wanted a Duke the Dumpster, always wanted the complete Men on a Mission. This is incredible. I love this line. I am a completist on it, and I do believe that every single release gets better and better, which makes me very excited to check these out. Um, and if you are also a completist, you can keep track of what you have with the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, my book that features these, and a bunch of other things, everything from 2010 to 2023. Get it now on Amazon.com or go to HealBooks.com. All right, we are going to unbox Greg Gerard first. Um, there you can see, nice portrait there. Orange card to fit in with uh, Mo and Mabel in case you have a mint on card, I do not. We're not gonna talk about the figure yet, but so you'll see down there, he's got the signature, his name. On the back, it has the original uh, design art, which was made February 2015, so less than a year later we have it. And on the back, it shows off Diana Hart Smith and British Bulldog 92, which is going to be a two-pack coming very, very soon. Um, and as always, you can get um, pick up these figures at Grapplers, grapplersandgimmicks.com or hasteltoy.com. Uh, so shout out to Mitch. We're going to rip into this, guys. I'm excited. I have nothing else to say. I will say the bubble on this, way way more secure than that of the uh, Mabel and Mo. So, this is a unique one because uh, it is two pieces on the bottom. It does come with a microphone. But the bottom does not move. I don't know if that's by design or it's just like, you know, restricted movement because of the actual design itself. But his arms move, head move. So he's a three points of articulation type of guy over here. All right. So, the purple matches the purple on the Men on a Mission. Same thing with the yellows. Um, so, all right. He's got the st yellow star here, the stripe on the side of the shirt, and the stripe that goes up the sleeves over the neck and down with two stars on the front. Great detail in the buttons. It appears that... Was this paint... Was this all cast in the purple i guess it looks like it was cast in in the brown but i'm not sure he does have that gold uh watch on pretty fresh fade over here on the haircut with the lines cut in on both sides he looks like he's in the middle of rapping which i guess he will be once you put the microphone in his hand i would say it's a pretty good likeness to him i got a little smudge on his face here but I think this is awesome. I mean, he's ready. He's spitting into the mic. He's got his kicks on with his tall socks. It's a, I, I love this. I mean, we don't have very many managers in the Hasbro line, so this is really nice. And, man, that looks awesome side by side with Mo and Mabel. I love that. This, this brings it all together. Beautiful. I will say that um, I did tell Mitch that these two were probably my most anticipated ones that I wanted, as silly as that may sound. Really wanted Oscar, and I definitely really wanted Mike Drosy, a.k.a. Duke. And his artwork was from February 26th, so again, less than a year. Same on the back, Bulldog and Diana Hart Smith. Nice portrait here, classic Duke right there. He does come with a trash can. I'm curious. It looks like the lid is removable. And his move is called the Trash Bash. What was... Oh, the mic drop. Now, I would say... These are pretty pretty well done as far as the action bubble here. The artwork and the design is very, very true to the uh, original Hasbro. Um, I dropped this one earlier in the bubble crack because of how close it is to the foot. So that's my fault. Good thing I'm an opener. The thing is, is that, man, these are really glued on there. So Mitch, one thing 
you gotta give Mitch, and a lot of people give him some trash, man, but when there's a problem, the man fixes it. You know, it doesn't really have big problems that carry over to the next release, which is what it should be. Um, so first off, we'll look at this trash can. The lid does go on and it stays on a little bit. Uh, you'll notice that the inside is almost like a tan. So this is painted silver, obviously. Two handles here, so you can hold it on either side. And uh, yeah, it looks like a regular trash can with a dent in it right here, a couple dents here. I mean, you ever had these metal trash cans? That's how they are. All right, now here we go. We got Duke the Dumpster. Very cool. So he does rotate at the waist. That classic blue of the trash man. I mean, like this is what all of our trash men look like, right? The black uh, boots on underneath there. He's got the shirt, the two-tone shirt with the blue sleeves and like that greenish front. And he has the back support right here around his waist so he doesn't get hurt. And his elbow pads and the signature trash man gloves. And I will say, I think that this likeness is really good. This might be one of the best likenesses that uh, Grapplers and Gimmicks has done. Really looks like Duke Drosy. He's got the backwards hat. You can see the hair through the hole there. And very well-groomed and manicured hair back there. But I love that it's separate from the hat. There's a little space there. Very, very cool. Looks like the hat is actually glued on after, which is a nice touch I wouldn't expect. Um, the arms move up and down. We got like that bushwhacker arm here. And this is one to hold on to the uh, trash can, obviously. I do wish that he had some kind of ability to hold things there in that hand, but beggars can't be choosers. See how well that... So it does fit in there. You kind of got to like work it down, but... I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna uh, display Duke Jersey, you gotta have you gotta have him holding a trash can, right? There we go. So he can hold it up, just like that. Classic Duke. See how the scale is? I mean, the scale is is great. They they literally nail it. They get it right on point. I, I, doing great for a uh, independent company, I think. So, wow. Duke is definitely my favorite release from Grapplers and Gimmicks so far. Uh, I did love the Mabel. I really like Mo and Oscar, obviously, but I think Duke is my number one. There's a lot of great detail in this mold. All the ruffles and the creases, beautifully done. Gotta give respect where respect is due. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. I believe that this is series five or series four. There is numbers to them, but I honestly forget off the top of my head. But today we unboxed Oscar and Mike Drosy um, from the Grapplers and Gimmicks line. Let me know which one you like the best of these two, and if you picked any up and what you thought of them. If you want to pick up some Grapplers and Gimmicks for the future, you can go to HasteltToy.com or Grapplers and Gimmicks. Shout out to Mitch um, of Grapplers and Gimmicks and Hastel Toy. This guy right here. Uh, that's our buddy. So, um, yeah, definitely head over there. See if there's anything you like. There's a lot of cool ones coming. I know Carlito. Got British Bulldog, Diana Hart Smith, the Rougeos. I mean, there's a ton coming, and they all look great. Harvey Whippleman. So hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fake Heel. Twitter's at the Fake Heel. Pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia on Amazon.com and join whatnot at whatheel.com and you'll get $15 off your first purchase. And hit up Grapplers and Gimmicks. I'm loving these retros. And that's that's not like a, a shameless plug. Like I genuinely like this line. So I think you should check them out. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. 
with a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the wrestling figure encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.